Hey guys, Ty here from Ken Sports of Green Bay, getting a first look at boat one of the new model Camus, the DV20. Uh, I'll give you some generic specs here real quick. Uh, dry weight on this boat is going to be about 3,000 pounds, so trailer weight and everything wet is probably going to be about 4,500 pounds. 61 gallon fuel capacity, 102 width on the trailer. Center rod box will hold nine foot rods. It's got about six foot front deck. Height on the trailer is gonna be 83 inches. I know that's important for some of you guys storing it. Port rod length is gonna be eight foot. Starboard rod box length, five and a half feet for those shorter trolling rods. Beautiful boat. Again, quick overview of boat number one of the new model DV20. We're going to get some very specific inside looks at this boat, how it performs on the water quick. Right now it's outfitted with a 72 inch Tarova. You got flush mounted 12 inch graph on the front. Awesome front deck layout. Plenty of space for two 12s on the console over there. Of course, the beautiful interior from Camus. Wonderful stitching. And this boat is rated for a 300 Mercury. A 300 in general. But this one's outfitted with a Mercury Verado. It does have a kicker on it. Just an absolutely gorgeous boat. Get a close up of the cockpit there. This one does has the have the jump seats in the back as well as the ski pole. We're gonna get out on the water and show you guys what this thing can do. We are out here demoing the DV20. You want to introduce yourself here? Hi, I'm Dwayne Kruger with Camus Boats. This is our new DV20. This is a brand new boat for 2023. It's um, a nice deep boat. Well, a couple things that we've done with it, we put a much bigger pad on the bottom of the boat. We've added wider lifting strength so the boat will stay on plane at slow speeds. This boat will stay on plane in low 20s, 23, 24. It'll actually stay on plane. So if you want to go out and do some searching, you can. It's also extremely fast. Right now, uh, two of us with a light load will run 63 miles an hour. Um, we're on an eco prop uh, with a Bravo prop. Uh, on there you're probably going to look at about 63 two guys tournament load so the boat will run really really well the other nice part about it is it doesn't porpoise so if you want to run at that 30 35 40 miles an hour going from spots trying to save some fuel the boat does not porpoise at all so it's very very solid in the water we run a much deeper V in the front we run on a 19 degree we taper it back to about a 17 in the back so it's going to handle rough water extremely well um, but with the bigger pads it's also set up so that um, it'll just run a lot faster. So this particular boat's got a 300 on it, but it'll run very respected with a 200 or a 250. So if you're you know, not into super top end speed, you can put a smaller engine on it and save some money. A um, Couple nice parts about it, you got nine foot rod storage in the side. You've got another rod storage compartment in the front. We have a foamed in cooler right in front of the console. We actually foam it in so it will hold ice. And um, those are all fiberglass tubs. Uh, so again, everything is nice and solid. It's not laying into the bottom of the boat, so stuff stays dry. Uh, we also put a real high gusset, and then we put a big rubber seal on her, so we make them as watertight as we possibly can. Um, on it. You also have some rod storage on the side. This particular boat's got some jump seats in the back. Uh, what's nice about that is if you're gonna do some family, you've got room for six people behind the cockpit. And this in this 20 footer, we've got more room in our cockpit space than any of our competitors have in their 22. So you don't have to go out and spend that $150,000 on a 22 foot boat. You can get it in the 20 footer and it's still gonna handle uh, rough water. The other thing that's nice, um, that we've done, and you can see we don't have it in this particular boat, but where the cut out of here in the floor is, we actually have pods, and those are removable. So if you're a guy that loves to fish and you wanna go out with your buddies and you're gonna go up to Canada or Green Bay or wherever, you've got all kinds of tackle storage. Now if you're gonna do a family vacation, you can pull the pods out and get the jump seats. And we'll let you a la carte it too, so you can get the pod and the jump seat on both sides, or if you want just one on that side, 
you know, a lot of the guys in Wisconsin like to run a tiller. So again, what you can do is get the jump seat, no pod on this side, and I can run my tiller from back here. Uh, this particular boat obviously has got the remote on the back. Um, again, set it for trolling with the second control box back here. Awesome. Any other additional information for guys looking at getting one of these? Any timelines that we can we can look at? Yeah, so right now we're taking orders. Um, you know, we're going to look. Uh, most of the dealers have some uh, on order so that you can check if they've got something coming in stock. Otherwise, new orders right now, we're going to be in that uh, late January, February delivery. So plenty of time to get them in. Uh, a couple other neat features we didn't really talk about that we've really done. Billet aluminum grab handles on the windshield. There is not another boat that has a windshield that's going to hold up like ours. And that's one of the things that we really, really pride ourselves because typically in most walleye boats, the windshield's the weakest link. The other thing that we've done is so that everybody can understand this is an extremely well-built boat. We run the same laminate schedule on our deep V's as we do our 26, 28, and 34-foot saltwater boats. So they're very, very well-built. There's absolutely no wood whatsoever in this boat anywhere. And the other thing we've done is uh, this particular boat's got some track systems on the, on the gunnels. You'll see here but we actually reinforce that whole gunnel with aluminum so if you want to add something down the road you want to put downriggers on you've got plenty of beef in that hull that you can actually so you're not just going through fiberglass there's laminate uh, aluminum that's been laminated right in there so you can drill through it tap it and, and bolt anything you like on any of the gunnels in the back uh, another nice feature we can show you when we get out but in the back we've got a, uh, your complete charge panels back in the back with the battery switches so when you're out of the boat you can open the drain plug you can shut all the batteries off everything is easy to do outside the, the boat so you don't have to constantly keep climbing back and forth inside the boat very nice can we take a look at the front storage bins that Absolutely. we talked about um, a couple things uh, that people really like obviously there's a tool holder here on the side but you've got 15 slots for with uh, rod tubes in there the other thing that's really a nice feature, and i got to get in your way a little bit, but we've got this access here. And what that does is now you've got storage. And again, it's something that you're not going to want to get at, but you've got plenty of room. Trolling motor batteries are also up front, which helps the boat ride better. The, uh, every, all the lids are all aluminum. And uh, again, you can see here where the high gusset with the thick rubber cushion. Again, we try and keep everything as physically dry as possible. Very nice. We built the step right in, so it makes it super easy to get in and out of the boat. This is the uh, built-in cooler. And like I said, a lot of people put a fiberglass box on there, but we've actually incorporated and we actually insulate it. So we foam around that when the uh, boat's apart. So again, we know it's gonna hold ice in the summer when it's hot out. We run striker plates on all our latches. Again, so if you do drop the lid down, and the brackets there you're not banging onto your glass the other thing i was talking about earlier is fiberglass tubs everything is a fiberglass tub so it's off the bottom it keeps everything dry um, does have a drain built into it the other thing that we've done for a lot of the guys that like to do their own rigging we run rig tubes so we've got one from the stern of the boat up to the dash and then from the dash up to the bow we also put a pull string in there. So if you want to add stuff down the road, it's super easy for you to do it or to have the dealer do it. This side's also got rod storage built in it. A little hard to see, but we've got some rod holders here in the end, so you can put rods up in there. And again, or use it for tackle storage, whatever you'd like. It's just really nice to have all that additional storage. The, uh, this particular boat has a trobe on it. We also make a plate. A lot of the walleye guys don't want to have that foot pedal exposed so you can put a plate over there so it's all done this boat also has we have an option for additional foam underneath our carpet so you get another layer of foam which if you're out fishing all day it's amazing how it makes your back feel it takes a lot of that pain out of it because it's just so much softer and it absorbs some of the cushion when you're when you're out there all day Very nice. Any final sayings? Any any reason why somebody should look into getting a Camus over anything else? Well, I, you know... Um, Aside from the many reasons of positives about this boat. 
you know, I think one of the things that's, uh, night, the, the boat is built extremely well. Uh, there's not another walleye boat in the market that's built with the lay the laminate schedule that we put into this boat. We've designed it so it's going to hold up. Again, we spent a lot of time on the windshield design, making sure that you don't have to worry about breaking, especially in rough water. Um, the boat runs extremely well. It doesn't realize it's a big walleye boat. Most people that drive this boat think they're in a bass boat. Very, very fast, very, very responsive. But on the flip side, it handles rough water. And that's what really blows most people away. Most boats that handle rough water aren't very fast. And so we've actually got the combination of both. You've got a sports car that'll get out and run with any boat out there, um, but it'll also handle rougher water than just about any other brand that's, that's on the water today. So it's just been a great value. Uh, the boat's a lot of fun to drive, extremely well built, and every place you take it, people want to know about your boat. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's not only a boat, it's driveway jewelry. It really looks nice when it's sitting on the trailer. So uh, come in and uh, see your local dealer and take one for a test drive.